Okay, so what I figured I should do is uh, I should do a follow-up on the battery disassembly and I should show you a bit more of the actual modules and what they look like and what's actually under here, under the plastic, how they um, join the cells and how you could possibly use this on your own, uh, how much it weighs, stuff like that. So we're going to take a, take a closer look at the module and I'm going to show you what it looks like a bit more in detail. So that's what we're going to do. So first of all, uh, they come with this uh, plastic cover that you can just uh, pull off. like such and here we have the cells actually uh, so over here we have the positive and we have the negative um or terminal over here so this is where they start cell number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and if we take a closer look, we can see that there is um, balancing on each cell here. Uh, but there is also temperature sensors. And let me see if I can find them. Yeah, we have one over here. We have one over here. We have one over here and one over here. So we have four temperature sensors on here. And um, I think that's pretty cool. That's quite a lot of them for one module. And uh, how they actually join them together here they're welded on so let's say you want to change the configuration here you would have to either drill this uh, weld out <coughs> or you could possibly even just uh, cut the tab apart and i came up with uh, actually a solution with a kind of simple solution that um, some these are actually let me see some of these are actually folded over so they're welded in the bottom and then they come up and they're folded over. So there's two layers in here. If I go closer, you can maybe see that. So what you could do is you could just cut it here and then you could use a big um, washer nut and uh, like a ring cable shoe and use this uh, hole here in the top layer. So that's one way to get a way to connecting here without drilling uh, down here towards the cell. Because um, 12S configuration isn't really that um, common. Uh, it's not really that um, easy to use uh, these modules as they are. They would be more useful if they were like 12, <coughs> 12 volt or something like that. So on the side, each module also has its own BMS unit. And I have no idea what these numbers do or what they are. They're, it's connected with this cable. I just unplugged this on all of the modules that I took out just to make sure that there were no no power drain so I just unplug here and uh, my plan for this one is actually to cut these wires here and use them with a separate BMS that I have laying around back in the mess here in my man cave um, yeah so that's that the weight on each module is uh, 25 kilos and I'm gonna go and get the tape measure and then we're gonna measure out the size again so you can see how big or small this one is if you would plan on buying these for some project of yours so we're gonna start with the width of this uh, module and as we can see here it's about 36 centimeters and if we want to measure the uh, center to center distance for let me line it up for the mounting holes we get about 39.4 millimeters uh, centimeters and if we take it across so the overall size here if you take into account this flange here is about 31 centimeters and from center hole to center hole we get about 29 centimeters so that's the width and the depth of it and if we want to see the height without this tiny little plastic cover we would see about 14 and a half centimeter so it is sticking up a little bit back here so if we measure it over there mm. 
then we get about 15 centimeters, maybe, yeah, exactly 15. It's not that big. I think it's like perfect size for, let's say, a go-kart. Two of these in a go-kart or something like that, I think. Uh, so I'm gonna use them in this um, homemade caravan that I'm building. It's a tiny, it's a teardrop camper actually. And you're gonna go in the front of it, two of these. So that's gonna be interesting to try to make use of. Oh, and let's say that you wanted to take this whole module apart and you wanted to take the cells out of it. So like, how would you do that? So I think that the most easy way uh, would be to, there is a, you have this front piece and then you have a back piece and they're connected with this uh, side pieces and one in the middle. So if we go into the back, so I would probably just cut it here and then you would do the same on this side. And in the back, you have also quite a lot of space here to cut it so you're not um, too close to the weld. Just cut it here and here. And that's gonna make this one come apart. And then you're probably thinking like, okay, so let's say I wanna use this one as a uh, 12S configuration. Like, how do you connect it? So, one idea is to simply just take a a uh, Dremel tool and just cut away all of these uh, plastic pieces here and then you take this uh, metal tab that's coming out here and you just um, straighten it out and you drill a hole in it and then through this hole you put the nut and a bolt and you put uh, a um, what's it called ring cable shoe with a cable so then you can just hook your hook your cable up to here and on the positive you could do that here too you could do that here too but you could also just cut away the plastic over here and um, use the metal tab in here and drill a hole in it. So those are two, two easy ways to actually just connect it. And there's another way uh, as well. When I disassembled this battery, I got a few of these uh, cables with this connector. So I actually had an extra one that goes into the negative uh, and on that one it came to have a cable. And in the end of that one, I drilled a hole in the uh, metal tab, so I don't have to take this apart. That's my idea of how to connect this battery and make something useful of it. And as far as this one, you just um, cut them one by one without um, shorting. And uh, you solder on your new BMS to here. And here is also really easy to see which balance wire goes where and, and such. So should be simple. That's something I'm gonna do later on. I actually have the BMS here now. It's um, somewhere back in the mess here, in the chaos. So that's for a later project to hook up the BMS and I have a charger for this too. So I, that's also gonna be hooked up. I'm gonna make a video on that too. Uh, hooking up the BMS and the charger and then some um, wiring, general wiring just for for the fun of it. So that's for a separate video. This one is just for the close-ups and dimensions and stuff that I missed out in disassembling uh, the battery pack. So what more do you want to see? I'm guessing this is pretty much everything that the, what it looks like the, that I can show you close-up. Because I totally forgot to film this when I took the battery apart and um, yeah. That's gonna be it for this video. So, I hope you found this interesting. Uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to like it if you do. So, see you in the next one.